my channel. My name is Rachel, if you haven't been here before. Thank you guys so much for being here. I greatly appreciate it. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is going to be your weekly love reading. It is for March 8th through the 14th. As always, it's not going to resonate for every single Aries out there. It's not possible. You're not all living the same lives. So if it doesn't resonate, just check your other signs or check out one of the other awesome readers on YouTube. All right, guys. Thank you to my subscribers. You guys are awesome. I love you. If you haven't yet subscribed, hit the subscribe button now as well as the notification bell so that you can be notified when I go live and do free personal readings. I don't have a schedule for those. It's just whenever I have time. So I don't ever know. I just jump on when I can. So unless you hit the notification bell, you're probably not going to know. So make sure you do that so you can come out and get your free reading. Um, if you need a personal reading, sorry guys, I'm getting sick, so hopefully I don't lose my voice in this reading. Anyway, if you need a personal reading, don't hesitate to hit me up. Everything you need to know is in the description of this video as well as the about me section. All right, guys, here we go. What are you guys up to in love the week of March 8th through the 14th? It's almost your season, guys. How you feeling about it? All right, Aries, what do we have? <clears throat> Aries in love. Ooh, Ace of Coins. I will show these to you guys as I'm reading them as well. All right, as soon as I get them out here, don't worry, you'll see them. These cards are so big. I love to use them and they're beautiful, but it's so hard to fit them all out here. They're huge. Well, that's too many. Let's get you one more. Last card out. Outcome, guys. <laughs> there we go. Thank you. Okay. <clears throat> like I said, sorry guys. I feel like crap. We're still doing this though, okay? Okay, guys, <clears throat> so if you've watched my love readings before, um, I stopped doing Celtic Cross readings a long time ago. I just got bored with them, so I was just doing past, present, future, outcome, advice, all that. I'm switching back to Celtic Cross for a little while now because I'm bored with the other ones. <laughs> all right? <laughs> okay, so you guys, now here's the thing about this. So this particular deck has bonus cards in it, right? It's got these palace cards and they represent actual homes, like real estate, property, right? So that's what you have in your position. You have the palace of wands, fire energy, so cool, your energy, right? But it's reversed. So you could be having some issues around your home. You know, if you're in a relationship where you're living, living with a person, there could be some issues around the home, dysfunction, arguing, drama, whatever or you're just feeling really unstable in your home life, family life, stability, you know what I mean? Sorry I have to keep drinking this coffee, guys. It's really the only way I'm gonna get through this reading. Um, what's crossing you is the hermit. This is Virgo energy. You could be in a relationship with a Virgo, dealing with a Virgo, you don't have to be. Um, you might though, what I what it looks like to me here is you just need to take a time out you need to take some time you know by yourself go within if you live with people just try to make sure that you're getting your alone time my cat's crying at me hi honey I love you um make sure you're getting your alone time you really need to go within here to figure out what's going on here with your why you feel so unstable or you know if you know if it's obvious why you feel so unstable then um, go within and find out what you could do about it. You know, it's, it's processing, it's gaining enlightenment, right? Just hermit yourself for a little while so you can get this, 
this whole home life, this foundation to your relationship, whatever it is for you, under control here. Now, your actual foundation, you have the Eight of Cups. So, um, guys, this is actually leaving. This is actually walking away. So, that's what's going on here. And that somebody's walking away here. I don't know if it's you or the other person, but somebody's walking away and you know obviously that would be why you feel so unstable if you're the one leaving well then where are you gonna go you have to find a place to go you know what I mean um if they're the ones leaving or if they already did then what do you do about it it's time to go within and process this here okay your recent past the two of wands reversed that's that dis oh my gosh decision i swear i'm gonna get these words out. i promise you i will get through this reading um this is that decision somebody came to a crossroads somebody had to make a decision it was difficult as hell but it was done and somebody did decide to walk away here okay in your present though you've got the ace of coins this is beautiful energy guys i know that there's all this shitty stuff here that's you know, either just happened or is in the process of happening for you, but this is a new beginning. This is what's happening for you right now. You have a new offer, you have a new beginning, could be a whole new person, um, but there is this new offer. And I know that you have these issues with like your home life right now. This could even be like an offer of like a new home, a new job, something that is gonna put you where you need to be and make you feel more stable, okay? Earth energy, Virgo Taurus Capricorn. In your future, you've got the Nine of Cups. This is wish fulfillment, guys. This is beautiful energy. So whatever's happening here with you, by going within here, taking that time that you need to take, you're going to get where you want to be. This is contentment. It's fulfillment. All right? Pisces energy. There could be a Pisces coming in in the future. doesn't have to be. Um, signs so far. I mean, I haven't even gotten through all this yet. But we've got Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Obviously you. Virgo again, Pisces twice. Okay. All right. Oh gosh, that light is crazy bright. Hold on, guys. Can't even see that, right? Now it's a little dark, but as long as you can see the cards, it's cool. All right. So you are coming up as judgment. So it's like a reevaluation, reevaluation of like your life circumstances, how you got here, what you're going to do about it. This is a final decision on something as well. So you're making some kind of a judgment call here, um, trying to use your good judgment. You know what I mean? Trying to make sure you know exactly what you're doing. You're sure about what it is that you want to do. Can be a reconciliation. I don't see that here yet. I'll let you know if something else to that effect comes out. Um, but this is a final decision on something. You are making that final judgment call, okay? Uh, in your environment <laughs> is the Four of Swords. This is self-care. It's recovery. We already know that you're going through something here. Somebody walked away here, whether it was you or them. Um, this is that recovery period. This is what you need to be doing, okay? Okay. Um, don't neglect your self-care. Don't neglect your healing. It's a necessary timeout. You've already got the hermit as well. So absolutely what you should be doing is taking care of yourself, resting, you know, trying to gain some wisdom on, on what happened here, where you want your life to go from here. You know what I mean? Libra energy. All right. <clears throat> your hopes and fears. The hanged man reverse. So you are kind of tired of waiting. It's like you need to go within here, but you don't want to. <laughs> it's like you want you want something to happen. You don't want to just um, wait around anymore. You don't want to wait and see what's going to happen. Like you kind of, you have this Ace of Coins, right? Ace of Pentacles in your presence. So there's this new offer here. And I think what universe is telling you to do is slow it down a little bit. Slow it down a little bit, process, heal yourself first before accepting this offer or by offering it to somebody else because it could 100% be another commitment for you. But I think you're being called to just take a time out right now. Make sure that it's what you want to do. Make sure that it's right for you. But you don't want to. You don't want to. <laughs> you, you just want to do it. That, I mean, that's Aries energy. 
No shade, guys. I love you guys. I do. All right, your outcome, though. The Knight of Wands reversed. So here's the thing. This is what I mean. Um, the Knight of Wands reversed. It's younger fire energy, but with it being reversed, it's, it's way immature. It could be you guys or it could be the other person. It doesn't have to be you just because it's fire. But the outcome here... I think if you don't wait here, if you don't wait around, if you don't heal, you don't go within and you like accept this potential offer, I think it's going to go the opposite direction. All right. So it's kind of like somebody intends for something to be committed here. Whenever somebody's like the next person you're dealing with, right? They intend for there to be a commitment and you might intend for there to be too. But if you rush it, you're going to end up here. And this is one night stand energy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's one night stand energy. It's somebody using somebody just for sex. And it's also, it's the kind of um, connection that, that comes in real fast, but then it's gone. That's it. It's gone the next day. You know what I mean? Um, and I think that that's likely to happen if you don't take the time to take care of yourself and get yourself where you need to be because you have this nine of cups here. You do. Um, it can go there. It can be committed. It can be contentment you know what I mean it can be everything that you want it to be but not if you don't work on your healing first then it's it's kind of gonna ruin it you know what I mean all right let's clarify some here for you guys let's get one on this ace of coins up here for you and your present The Ace of Wands, beautiful, beautiful, guys. Ace of Coins and the Ace of Wands in your present energy. That could be actually two separate offers, or it could be one where, you know, it is fast. It's fast moving, but it is meant to be committed. Um, again, with the Ace of Wands, it's a new beginning. It's a spark. It's passion. It's attraction. Um, however, it is Wands energy. It can come and go. You have the Ace of Coins here. You have the potential for it to actually be long term. You just have to go about it the right way. Let's get another one on that. The Three of Pentacles. Yeah, that's building together. It's teamwork. It's collaboration. All right? It's there. You guys can build together. You can. You honestly, you have control over that. You are the one that has control over how you're going to handle it how are you going to handle your healing are you going to work on yourself are you going to practice self-care and self-love so that you're able to accept that from another person so that you're able to offer that to another person you know what i mean that's what it's all about y'all all right let's see if the universe has any advice for you advice for aries advice for aries in love Radia. Hi, honey. Oh, okay. Eight of coins. Eight of pentacles. That's putting in the work. Um, it's also though in love relationships. Watch out for repeated patterns, all right? If you don't if you don't work on your healing, go within here, find out why things happen the way they did, you're likely to repeat the same patterns and end up in the same place. So work on that, guys, okay? All right, I love you guys. Take care. Make sure you check out your monthly reading that is posted as well as a singles reading if you are single Aries, okay? All right, I love you guys. Take care.